how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves. And it looks like the expedition is ready to run. Now, you can actually go to New Game from the title screen or load into one of your saves like I'm doing now and pick up the expedition either way. Anyway, I'll see you inside the Nexus. I'm going to be going over to the console behind the Nexus cube and hitting up the expedition there. Okay, jumps now. Something curious with the patch notes. If you haven't seen the patch notes, I've done a video on the patch notes. I've put a link up there so you can go and hit up the patch notes. But it says that you're not going to be using your warp drive. You're going to be using the portals. So if it, if I'm allowed to choose things to take with me on this expedition, I know not to take a load of this technology that I've got sitting in here. Okay, this is interesting, isn't it? Okay, Aquarius has finished. Create me a tool, create a starship. I haven't took all this stuff out, have I? Well, I could leave some of this stuff in, to be fair, couldn't I? I'd take these out. But I may as, as, may, may as well leave some of this stuff in, mightn't I? I mean, obviously I don't need these. Well, let's just put those over. But yeah, I'll sort out what I'm taking on with me on this and um, go from there, people. Oh, wait a moment. I've had to remove everything before it let me move on to this. So now I can hit Select Equipment. Excellente. Righto. And now I'm going to choose what I'm going to take with me on this new expedition. Okay, jumps. Well, I think I'm ready to go. I've got a load of modules up here to take with me. Mainly upgrade modules. Sadly, I haven't got a lot of multi-tool expansion slots. So what I've got is two, but I'm also bringing a load of refiners with me. So, you know, I might be able to duplicate them. But we've got to get to the actual Nexus. And because we can't do warp jumps, I'm not sure at what point we're going to be able to get all this stuff anyway. So we go, let's hit start expedition and accept. Yeah, there we go. And we're starting up the expedition. Okay, initialize expedition. Sweet. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got all these whirly swirly patterns. That's new. What the fudge? Have you seen my hazard protection down there? It's one of those like trivial pursuit or a box of a brick in it, as I like to call it. Awesome. Come here. That sounded like a giant worm. Or something making smashing noises. And again. It's a worm. It's going overhead right now. Casting a shadow. There you go. Looks like a tail of a jellyfish behind there. Very obscured view for me. Oh, that'll be why. I'm in a freaking rock or something. Okay. The curse has started. Mm, the curse for me. I'm, I'm on some sort of giant... Holy fudge. That's not the best start, is it? Okay. Ow. I broke my legs as soon as I started. What a cool planet. Not a cool starting position. What the fudge are you, mate? Holy fudge. Take that in the face. Oh, my days. What the fudge just happened there? What Reese's do? Fragmented qualia. All right, okay. I'll leave these guys alone, I think. All right. Well, first off, I guess I've got to find my ship. I do hope that it's the UFO. I do hope we're flying around in a UFO and don't just get given it as an end sort of perk. All right. Well, we've got to get over to my ship. I'll see you when I get to my ship, people, or if something interesting happens on the way there. Oh, chums, I've come across some Butterman flies. I wonder if I can get some carbon and make myself some creature pellets. Can I make pellets? Let's have a look. If... Yes, pellets are there. I need a little bit more carbon. I was hoping to tame a butterfly. They can come quite handy for navigating landscapes. So just bear with me one second. I'm just going to get a load of more carbon. Might as well scan that, mightn't I? Okay, I tried to tame one of these. But you can't feed them by the looks of things, people. They're not interested. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go get a butterfly instead then. Sweet. Let's head over. Offer it for some food. Hello. What the fudge? What the flying? Okay. A doctor's companion. Uh, there's some voices happening. As it said hello to me on the screen. The actual flying fudge. Okay. Cool. All right. Gently pat. Gently pat. 
Now, I would ride it, but I'm not going to bother at the moment because on the way to my ship, I am gathering resources as I go. So, yeah, might as well grab some ferrite dust on the way there as well. We might have to repair it is what I'm thinking. Ah, oh, people, look at the sky. That's a giant jellyfish. We know what you seek. I'm seeking my ship right now, I guess. But look, giant jellyfish in the sky. That's pretty darn freaking epic. Forget ship. Come inside. What? Okay. Well, I, um... Well, it's a bit of a shame. Voice is calling me inside. What the flying fudge? Right, let's hit up this save point. Okay. We're heading inside of here. Find inside. What the flying fudge is going on? This is creepy. I approach the terminal on autopilot, almost as if my exosuit rem remembers being here before. The whole building feels like a place out of time, a fragment of another world. There are marks in the dust that lay thickly on the terminal, the traces of an imprint of its glassy surface. As I lean to examine it, a voice hisses from within. We swim where the crimson eye cannot see. We swim where you long to be. The glass calls to you. It always calls to you. Shout or pull away. I'm going to go for shout then. No one will hear you. No one but us. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, that just happened. That's a thing. Sweet. We'll have that box. Lovely. Out of time. Find a place of rest. Right, let's go into the old... Um, I haven't even looked at the expedition. <laughs> there we go. Collect a reward. Done, dilly, and done. Elixir of glass. Okay. Interesting. Okay, cool. Just making sure everything's all good. Right, so we've got the elixir of glass. Interesting. Let's, let's go on over to the... Uh, so, here we go. Create the elixir of glass. Okay. Well, it's, it's already there. Uh, right. Prepare another elixir of glass. Okay. The elixir would depend on your. Okay, brilliant. Let's let's get that inside of the um, the thingy majigly then. Use the elixir of glass. Uh, fine. Select milestones from here. Yeah, done that. Okay. So how do I create another one of those? Let's have a look. We need dehydrogen and shattered qualia. So we got the shattered qualia from destroying those jellyfish-like creatures. So we better go kill some more of those. And I'm going to have to get some more. Oh, let me out of that blue stuff. So the dehydrogen. Ah, there's my butterfly. Uh, let's head towards some blue crystals. Aha, there's some. Let's kill those. Sorry, mate. I need your fragmented qualia. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is, back again. There you go. You will not find us in the water. Okay. Good to know. I'm going to zap you and your friends. Zap! Oh, come on, pop. Did he die? I think he did. I think we got him. You're only getting five at a time. Okay. Come on, pop. Kaboom! Got him. There's another one. Oh, he's teleported. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back. Take that, you! Zap. Okay, um, I need to find some more blue dehydrogen crystals. There we go. Over this way. Well, I'll zap this anyway, because that's going to give me some oxygen. Oxygen's always good to have. Look okay. out! Take that. What's casting that freaking gnarly shadow? Well, probably that in the time of day. We see you. Well, I've seen you too. I've also zapped you in the face. So who's the winner winner chicken dinner? Me. Right, here we go. Done, dilly, and done. Going to load more blue crystals. Dehydrogen jelly. Well, dehydrogen. Can I zap that as well? Might as well scan it while we're here. Lovely, lovely units. Get that done. Darn it! 
Okay, have I got enough? I don't think I have, because you have to zap a freaking ton of them. Right, there we go. We can make another one. We're done. Right, drink the elixir of glass. All right. Sweet. Done. Now I can collect that one. Nice. The elixir of glass created from your own elixir. Brilliante. Okay, so that's the first two stages of this done then, isn't it? We've got a pre-packaged unit of some kind. So I can stick that next to there. That's the advanced mining laser. Gone and got. Freaking great. And what else has it given us? A teleporter. Right, well I better go nearer to my ship. Where is my ship now? It's up there. Didn't even interact with it because I got beckoned with inside the building. We head back on up to the old ship and we get that installed, people inside the view of us. I will be doing my best tips for this. As and when I've completed this, I'll start doing it again. This is on my PC. I'll do it again on my PlayStation 5 after I've done it on PC. You cannot run from us. You cannot hide in the stars forever. The voice hisses through my starship system, a static snarl that sends shivers down my spine. I wait, but it does not speak again. I unplug the Starship communicator, but it feels futile. These messages are not broadcast on a normal frequency. Okay, that's creepy. Right, so we need to get pure ferrite. Okay, fine. And a hermetic seal and metal plating. Well, I can already create the hermetic seal. The metal plating, I don't think I can as yet. I haven't got enough ferrite dust, so that's on the to-do list. Okay. All right, well, we've still got that one thing here, so we might as well pop that and put the teleporter in. Nice. Okay. We need to get Hermet We need to get the uh, magnetised ferrite and all the other components I need. I'll reconvene in a moment, but you get magnetic ferrite from shooting rocks. There you go. Ferrite dust. Lovely jubbly. And I'm going to have to make pure ferrite. Have I got, like... Oh, I don't. Do I? No. I might as well move that over there. Stick that on there for now, just to give myself a bit of a bonus. Stick that there, maybe. That there. Actually, I'll put that one on. It seems to be going down faster. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I've got to get a load of resources, so I might as well zap that and get some more ferrite dust, and I'll reconvene in a bit. And okay, I need a fair bit of oxygen, so I'm going to pluck these off of this gaseous pod. Let's just wait for it to pop. Run over, pluck the oxygen. One more. Then I'm going to zap it for even more oxygen. There's a little bit of a hint and tip there, baby. That's how you can get quite a fair bit of oxygen out of those things. And you need the oxygen to make your refiner. But I also need to make some metal plating. I think I need, what, three of them? Okay, right, here we go. Let's uh, stick this down then. Done. Sweet. Now I can put my remaining ferrite dust, which hopefully I've got quite a... Oh, I haven't got that much. Put that in there to make the pure ferrite. I need to put in some fuel. I'm out of carbon. Righto. Here we go. Carbon, carbon. Let's get that going. I don't think I've got enough carbon to really do a lot, though. Right, there you go. That's going to run out, isn't it, fairly quickly. I don't know how much pure ferrite I need for the engine repairs, but I think it's more than I need. But that's how you make your pure ferrite anyway, people. Go. Oh, sweet. Let's see if that's more than enough. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. We only needed 50. Done. And then the next section, which is in here. And that's done as well. Now, I've got to... F well, actually, we don't need to warp. We don't need to do any warping. So we don't have a warp engine. Okay, all right. I was thinking we might need to get microprocessors, but that's not a thing. So we've got to head to the stars now, which is this one here. Let's go. Those messages have been popping up all the time, people. One said, you are the anomaly. Let's head on up into space then. Sweet. We're in space. Discovered by Hello Games. And we've left the planet. Let's pop the milestone. Let's see what's next on the agenda. Pow! So I'm going to do these in phases. And this is going to be my guide for phase one. Episode two be phase two, etc, etc. Sweet! We've got some bits and bobs to install. Okay. Cloaking device. That can go into there. Nice. Can I move this around to get slightly better stats out of this? Probably. There you go. I do. 
What else we got? Scanner module. I can go there. Nice. Anything else for anything else? Yes, we've got a movement module. Brilliant. Well, what I'd do is take that off of there and put the S class in. Brilliant. Okay. This is a bit of a weird one. Banish boundary horrors. Well, I've managed to do five of 16, so I guess that's just a case of zapping those creatures. All right. I wonder if um, the, the spatial anomaly isn't on the list right now, people. So we can't do that. I was thinking of going to the space station, but there's not really any reason to. I kind of feel like going back down to the planet that I was just on and shooting some more of them. But I might as well go to the day side of the planet, might I? Because at least we know that this has got those weird creatures on there that I can zap. It says you will not find us in the water. That was one of the messages that popped up, so I'm not going to go in the ocean. Heck no. We just touch down here, I think, and uh, go zap more of them. I've got to kill 16 of them. But I haven't got given any decent weapons as yet. Now, something that I tend to do is shoot the planet for resources, to get a load of basic resources. So I get down fairly close. Oh, we've got missiles as well, that's good. And I'm just going to shoot a load of this just to get some extra resources, like ferrite dust, carbon, all that sort of shenanigans, you know? Might as well. Oh, we've got some oxygen there, that's always good to have. Careful you don't shoot the missiles too close to the front of your ship, because it will hurt you. There you go. I'm just, oh dear, I'm going to crash. Oh, is that a big patch of oxygen right there? It freaking is. Right, I'm going to land there. Come on, land. I want, I want all that oxygen. Very nice. I'm going to go pick all that oxygen, and then I reconvene when I've got close to killing all the jellyfish creatures. Yeah, now these guys weren't appearing until my shield thingy, you know, the purple bar, where my hazard protection normally is, dropped to below 80%. Then they started appearing. So if you're not seeing them, just let your bar deplete a little. Take that in the face, get bag. Heck yes. Lovely. Take that, you. Creature of evil. Well, I don't think they are that evil, actually. They're quite majestic, aren't they? They're quite quite nice. Take that! There you go, we've killed 16 of the dang things. Right, well, I can pop the badge for that then. Lovely. Boom. Sweet! Elixir of blood recipe. So, okay! We need more dite, pugnium, and gold. So I'm going to have to take out some sentinels, aren't I? I did see a sentinel over near my ship. Uh, right, where's he gone? Well, there's my ship there. When you don't want a sentinel, they turn up. When you do want sentinels, you can't find the dang things. Oh, I hear one. I hear it. I hear it. Right, let's just see if we can attract his attention. Come on, sentinel. There he is. Right, so we need what, a little bit of pugnium. So let's zap him. Oh, well, it, I don't know whether we have to actually create it. Oh, we do. Okay. All right, mate. I need your pugnium. I'm, I am sorry. Pugnium for me. Well, we've got 25. We only needed 15. So that's enough. Okay, right. And I'm going to have to kill a few normal creatures as well. So... Yeah, we've got that to do. Can I just burn these little creatures out of the sky? Let's give that a go. Ow, what bit me? No, I'm not very good at shooting those out of the sky. What about the uh, butterflies? They're not very fast, are they? Ow! I think the jellyfish are actually attacking me now. Oh, freaking burn! Dang you, butterfly! Butterfly, die! There we go. We got a little bit of more die. Not much, but I think that's all we needed. Okay, what I might do is just 
consume that to keep the jellyfish from hurting me. Now I think we've got enough now to create the blood. No, we need gold. All right. Well, to get gold, I think I can just shoot some asteroids. Let's go shoot some asteroids then. Let's go up to the atmosphere, up where the air is clear, and let's go shoot some roids. I guess asteroids, people, asteroids. Zoom. Zoom. And asteroids. Oh, I just flew past them. Okay. Now, if you're struggling to find asteroids, you can go to a ringed planet, and then you're going to get an abundance of them inside of the rings. I mean, that's, that's just got me some tritium, hasn't it? All right, let's have a look for the ringed planet inside of the solar system. Every solar system should have a ringed planet. Yeah. Labori has got a ring on it, apparently. Well, I don't see a ring on it. <laughs> okay, that's a bit weird. Um, oh, look, I'm looking at it side on. So this is a, the best way, I think, to find a whole load of asteroids is to actually go into the rings of a planet. So there we go. Also, if you go near to a station, usually space stations have got really dense asteroid fields on them. But just to prove a point, I'll, I'll show you the rings. Zoom. And then we're in. Okay, right. Loads of asteroids. Okay, so I'm just going to shoot this until I come across some gold. Look, I've got, I've got a little bit of gold. Need a lot more gold than that, though. Got a tritium hyper crystal. Nice. It's a good way to get a load of pulse fuel as well. So if you're ever struggling, the best way to get your resources, just like that. There we go, people. I've got enough now to create the elixir of blood. There we go. Done. Do I have to drink the elixir of blood to pop the badge? What's it going to do, though? Prepare the elixir of blood. And I have prepared it. Now it's telling me to drink it. Let's just get out of here so I can see. Okay, drink the elixir of blood. And it lets you commune with boundaries? Okay. Okay, the elixir of quicksilver. And I've got to get myself some chromatic metal now. All right. Come... Come find us. Come drink with us. I'd rather not, mate. There you go. Boom. So we've got that. Received a mysterious message. Well, where's said mysterious message? Okay. Right. Find nearby portals. You know what? I've already been to that, that planet over there. Let's go to this lovely lush planet with the rings. And let's go get our chromatic metal there. Because we're going to be digging up, like, in copper. Well, hopefully this planet's got copper. It should have copper. Uh, I didn't get scanned in time, but it should have. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's fly on down. Let's see if we can spot copper from the air. Sometimes you can spot it as, like, a, a resource nodule in the ground. Hold on. What's that there? That's not a resource nodule. Oh, this is a beautiful planet, though, isn't it? I wonder if those jellyfish turn up on every single planet. Oh, well, well, let's just land. Usually you can spot copper as you're flying over the landscape. But we'll, we'll land. And uh, I'll have a little scan for it. Cool. Okay, right. Let's have a look around. So I'm looking for a trivial pursuit type icon. That little kitty over there. That's a cadmium deposit. All right, well, that'll do. Sweet. Well, we've still got the um, the hazard protection bar that's like the Trivial Pursuit icon or a box or a brick in it. So I'd imagine the jellyfish will start appearing again once that gets below 80% threshold. Oh, look at the reflections in the water. This game is so beautiful now. It proper looks next gen, doesn't it? You know, so cool. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get to the cadmium deposit. Okay, chums, this planet is covered in freaking hostile creatures. They all want a bit of me. I've got a whole tribe of them after me right now. 
That's not good. There he goes, coming over the hill. Take that. Okay, got one. Right, better be a bit careful. Frame manipulator, shrink the beam by using L1. It takes you a lot longer to get it out of the ground, but you are going to get more for your bank. So here we go. I just get all this out of here, and then we'll spin that into chromatic metal. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, jumps got. All right, let's stick back down my refiner. Interact with it. Fuel it. Chuck the cadmium into it. And spin that into chromatic metal. Lovely, jubbly. I'll see you when it's baked. Go ahead, oh, done. I do like all these teleporting noises that these new creatures make. They're really quite cool. Okay, right. So we've done that now. I think I can make this new product. Oh. I've got the silver, but it's inside of my ship from shooting the asteroids. Right, so I'll see you back at my ship. Oh my days. Look how cute this little guy is. Hello. Oh, you're so going to be my pet. Yes, you are. Okay, Doctor's Companion. You're coming on an adventure with me, my friend. I guess you are. Okay, gently pat this little guy. Give him a little treat. There you are. Another little pet. I'm going to ride you back to my ship. Heck yes, let's go. Off we go on an adventure so grand. Um, yeah, that's right. Go, run like the wind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The cat just killed my creature friend. Yeah, drown, get back. You get. Frick oh my days! Ah! Jesus Christ! Okay, right. Let's let's uh, head back to my ship before I get attacked by more of those freaking evil cat creatures. Just killed my little friend when I was riding on him. Right. Well, I got back to my ship. Bit of a dangerous planet, this one. It looks nice. Yeah, looks can be deceiving. There you go. Let's hit this then. And I guess I've got to consume it again. Okay. Drink the elixir. To reveal a portal. Did I did I drink it? I think I did. Alright, there we go. And yes, we've got a portal. So I guess once we go through the portal, I might have finished phase one, maybe. Let's uh, let's just claim the rewards. Sweet pre-packaged pulse spitter. Brilliant! Pre-packaged combat scope and some inventory slots. Brilliant. Well I put those in there. And what have we got prepackaged? Nice. Pulse spitter. Don't mind if I do. Heck yes. And what, what was the other one that you gave me? Huh. Where's it gone? There we are. Combat scope. I don't overly use the combat scope. If I don't, I can always dismantle it later, can't I? It was prepackaged, so at least to get some free freaking resources. Right? And we're nearly there. Oh, there's comms ball already there. Awesome. Okay, nice. I'll see you there, people, because it says I've got 12 seconds. Well, here we go. We're coming in. Papa Chow! Oh, yeah, there's loads of comms balls there, isn't there? Right, then, you probably noticed when I've edited this, I've put... It all smashes like glass, since this is the realm of glass. Why not? Hope you like the transitions, people. Well, we've got loads here. Stop war. Oh, God. Stop. Don't put freaking political messages in games, you know? We come here to sort of escape all that. Right, here we go. Right, here we go. Let's let's get this on. Let's get this done then. A warm, dull ache spreads across my mind as I approach the portal. I blink as I try to focus. Like that. But all it does is inflame the red glow behind my eyes. <laughs> Whatever I do here, I should do quickly. Activate Mon Portal. Oh my days. All right, well, um, I haven't really got anything that I can put in. Um, all right. Okay. Right. Reward Portal Glyph Set. Well, how do I do it? Use a portal to travel to Rendezvous Point. Well, I haven't gone... Um, okay, maybe I have to create another vial of blood then, which means I need more pugnium. 
All right. Um, dang it. That sucks, doesn't it? Ah, chums, I've, I've been wandering around for a while now and I can't find any blinking sentinels. So what I might have to do is craft myself another portable refiner. Yep, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So yeah, put down that. And I have got some pugnium remaining. There's not much pugnium. Stick that in there. And then put this on top of there. Chikapow. Can I create another one? I think I can do one more. There we go. Oh, no, we can't. We need one more metal plating. Make a metal plating. Let's make a third one. So at least I'm getting 30. Pick it up. Let's see if the duplication technique still works. Yes, we've now got 30 pugnium. I'm going to do that again. All right. So just doing a little bit of jiggery pokery here, people. Mainly because I couldn't find a freaking sentinel to save my life. I don't want to do the duplication, but maybe I'm on the wrong planet. Maybe I should have gone to the other planet. And I don't want to navigate away from this portal. Okay, right. Now I can craft this. How many can I craft? Just the one. Where's my ship? Have I not got... Oh, I've only got seven gold as well. All right, well... I'm going to duplicate the gold as well then. Fun times. Okay, here we go. And let's get that duplicated. I'll be right back with you later. Righto, I can, can, I can actually create a few of these now. So I'm just going to make two of them. And I think I'm going to give, I'm going to give it a go at trying to freaking duplicate those as well just in case I need these throughout this whole expedition. That might be an idea, mightn't it? So if you're watching this, people, maybe the sort of resources that you want to bring with you are the things that make these items. You know? Okay, right. Inspect the portal now. Let's see if it works now. Okay, sweet. Yeah, offer the elixir of blood. There we go. Holy moly. Okay. I dabble some of the elixir across the plinth. The stone seems to shiver in response before the voice calls out, resonating from deep within the rock. That was daub. I follow them. I had to. You have to. We all would. That's why we're here. After all, to discover, to see, to explore. Okay, there we go then. That's... Let's see where this takes us then, people. Cool. And now it is too late. We'll see you soon. Okay. Forgive me. Open gateway. Sweet. We know what you will seek in the anomaly. Coolio. Let's head on in. Oh my days, look at that! That looks freaking cool, doesn't it? That looks really gnarly. Apart from that comms ball popping up. Yeah. Yeah, sort of eats into the old immersion, that. You know, I wish there was the ability to filter out comms balls. Because you either like them or you hate them. Sometimes they really make me laugh and make me laugh hard. And then there's other times where it's like, well, that's immersion break. And it's all Will Weldy's type stuff, you know? Anyways, let us know in the comments. Sound off. Let us know if you think I'm right on that one. What the fudge? Reinitialize reality? Okay, I guess we're doing that then. What the... Am I going to be able to go back to the frickin' anomaly to claim that stuff that I put in? Oh my days, my hazard protection is empty now. Join the Galactic Hub Discord. Oh, okay. Wow. This is weird. I think this is probably one of my favourite expeditions so far. Oh no, I've got broken tech now, have I? Seriously? Aerial okay, well at least that's still working. Hello, jellyfish people! Uh-oh, they're not going to be very happy with me now that that's down to zero, are they? Uh-oh. Okay, where's my ship? 
I need to find my ship. There it is. Okay, cool, right. Well, it looks like we've now done phase one beyond the boundary, reached the portal network. We're on a very purple type looking planet. Let's grab that then. Sweet, we can now build base parts and we've got a base computer. Yeah. Brilliant, say. Well, let's go in, let's pop this badge. Let's claim our rewards, which should be the free posters. Hopefully we'll see them up here. We can get all these blueprints and then we hopefully it's going to pop up and show you the other bits and bobs. Yep, there we go. There's the three posters. Nice. I jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. But there we go, people. That is phase one done and dusted. So next episode we will be doing phase two. Heck yes, phase two will be on the bag next time, people. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Center